looking for a way to engage your dog physically but also stimulate them mentally in today's episode i'm going to show you how to teach your dog scent work using an odor and a scent vessel let's get after it Hey guys, it's Dry and Disney here with another episode of Dingle Days. And on this channel, we do dog obedience, pet photography tips and tricks, and we track Disney's march to his first AKC competition. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to teach your dog scent work using an odor and a scent vessel. Specifically in this episode, we're gonna show you how to prepare and handle the odor in preparation for training. Dogs learn to find scents just about anywhere you can hide them, usually in four elements, interior, exterior, container, and vehicles. AKC scent work is the act of locating a scent and communicating to the handler that the scent has been found. We're gonna be taking a Learberg AKC scent work kit. It has a metal scent tin, four different drums with birch, anise, cloves, and cypress, and four dram droppers. We will use these to fill each of our scent vessels and get ready for the hide. We're going to start with birch, as this is the odor you start competing with at the entry level or NW1 level, nose work one. We're using cut up Q-tips with the paper stems rather than plastic ones that are cut in half. We'll be wearing gloves to handle the Q-tips and I'll be using tweezers. We're gonna set up everything really far away from where I will execute the training, like the bathroom with a closed door, which is kind of where I am right now. I know it's kind of weird, but this is all about keeping that scent novel. We have our birch, and we have our dropper. So in this video, I'm gonna to begin to prepare the odor. The most important aspect is to avoid contamination and to never leave the odor out when you're not training your dog. Here, I'm taking the dropper and placing it in the container that I will be using for my birch. I'm only gonna be setting this up once or at least for a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and place the birch in both my Q-tip that I'll be using in my tin, as well as in the container for future use. When training nose work, the Q-tips will always be in some type of container so that the Q-tips are not exposed. We also don't want the dogs to chew or swallow the scented Q-tips either, so this makes for a good containment system. When you're using or preparing the Q-tip containers to place the Q-tips in, always work in an area where you can safely take the Q-tips out and into the container. In some instances, you can use a tablecloth or a mat in case you drop one. Avoid dropping the Q-tips on the floor or in the workspace. Avoid getting the odor on the outside of the tent and avoid getting the odor on your hands. So that's why I'm wearing gloves here. If you wanna take these training aids on the road, just prepare your tins in advance before leaving the house so you're not messing around with odors away from home. If you're wondering what to do now, check out my previous scent detection video with Disney and showing him how to recognize the odor. 